Fast forwarding a little bit, yeah, of like course. your degrees there, the quick here. But <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, you you did some internships. Uh, you came back to Norway over the summers. You did a couple of internships, which helped you, I imagine. But then you did something that uh, you were allowed to do as a student when you graduate. You did your as own, an international as student, an international yeah, student. correct. Uh, the OPT, which is the you know you have an extension, pretty much uh, twelve months extension for for your from your visa, student visa to get uh, to find work experience and yep. land a job yeah you, you did that i did like, yeah how was that i mean fun it was really fun it was a really really good experience uh we talk about like a lot of CSU say talking about the student life and the everyday you know schedule and playing soccer study being on campus and all that working obviously it's it's not about that so you have to find a work yeah. that's going to be long hours and every day from you know eight o'clock in the morning till six seven at night and now you're in the real world so yeah. that was a huge change but because are um, you then how is it then you, you've been in like, you feel like you've been in like a bubble in yeah. your college bubble for the time you've been studying yeah not a care in the world uh, other than you know you you have a scholarship you have to represent the school well do your best and yeah. go to class but it's obviously a little bit different than you know getting your uh, fe- feeding yourself off your salary right, when you right, go to work. Right. How, how was that? It was a it was a massive change, and uh, you know I actually ended up staying in the same apartment in Florida that I ha- that I had when I was in college because my work that I got was right up the street from from the university. So I was really happy that I could stay in the same town. So you know, first I was like, you know, this is gonna be kind of the same. I have. I only have the work hours, but after that, I can, you know, be with my friends and then uh, and have a good time uh, outside. But then again, you it's a whole different world when you get into the professional world. You're going to work long hours. You, you don't break up the day with practice. You don't go to the cafeteria with a whole team and joke around and have fun with a social thing. I mean, we did have a good social office and we had a good, good uh, environment there, too. But no, it's you can't you can't really compare them. But no. Again, I was able to be at a place that I really fell in love with. I mean, Boca Raton in Florida is is beyond amazing, and uh, I was able to to get or to keep my apartment there and and to get a, uh, to get work in the same area. And uh, to touch on that, like you get twelve months after your graduation date to work as a what I can call is a student practicant because you're basically on your student visa for one more year and then you're able to work as any other workers that in, in america uh so when i first got that uh job and and when i had the opportunity to 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 land it and, and to do that for 12 months i was like let's let's go for it let's give it a shot and who knows if they wanted to extend that they could do even there's a paperwork and visa problem <laughs> more, so, paperwork. more paperwork for that uh but i did that and i was really really happy there um wasn't even sure that i was going to do that for you know sit there for two three five years or or whatever but i was giving it a shot and i really really got a lot out of it uh and i felt like i i grew and was able to bring experience from that as well when i decided to go to go back to norway that's uh, i think that's a little bit of a of a standout on my resume as well so i'm pretty happy that i that i got that yeah you know to to get uh not just uh theory but put put the theory into practice in yep. another place and learn how the work culture is there and i think it's very good when you come back home uh now yeah because uh, what are the main positives like from you going to the states now finally coming back to norway after after these years what, what how you're a different city on sunder now yeah for sure i am how, how different are you well I won't say I'm that different, but like I said earlier, you just grow so much in so many different areas. Like you get to, you you have to adapt to to both the the community and to to the people around you. You have the your closest ten friends in Norway that you've been with for forever since high school or whatever, and and you do you're kind of the same. You you have your sense of humor or whatever. Here you come into a whole different world where there's people from all over the world into one team. And there's so many different cultures, like the way people talk and dress and joke and everything. It's just going to be one team now. You get to adapt to that. And then, you know, I'm a, I like to say that I'm a people's person and I like to be, you know, talk, talk a lot. And, and that really like 
you see things in perspective that's really really different and and you get to learn how to not how to act but the way you do have a conversation or like the way you do um talk and interact in different environments and, and places and professors that's very old-fashioned americans that how am how am i going to talk to this guy in the way that he's going to understand where i'm coming from or whatever and there's so many things around um athletic trainers which is the you know the, the physios, physios yeah so. coaches uh cafeteria ladies uh professors d- um your own advisor everything you 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 pretty much have you know friends and network for life What's your plan uh, with your career? Well, like I said, I, I had an internship at something called uh, um, an agency called uh, M51 Marketing uh, down here in, in Oslo. I was very happy that I got that chance in, back in the summer of 2018. Uh, I think I did a decent impression, and I got that I got that um, that work now, and, and signed for them. Uh, was able to or I'm gonna start tomorrow actually, the first yeah. of September. I'm gonna be an advisor there for digital marketing, uh, yeah. and I'm gonna be interacting with customer or um, new clients, potential clients, almost you know every day, every week, holding a few uh, webinars, seminars, and I'm like I said, I'm a people's person. I like to talk. I'm gonna use myself in that in that work, and I think that you know the boss there looked look at me as a potential potential guy that's going to do well and uh and I'm, that you have I'm, to i'm sure you will yeah you are a people's person, so, <laughs> john it suits you well yeah I think so Definitely. but uh, stan you you're a experienced college alum now you, yeah you're you've done this journey what, what's your what's your biggest advice to to others uh young and hopeful that are thinking of doing the same going to the states and combine it with uh sports and studies yeah um biggest advice for me is to to look at opportunity and see if it's if it can suit you and definitely just like talk it through with your family and friends what this really is and see if this could be a good good chapter for you uh and not be afraid that's probably the biggest advice not be afraid and and jump into it because this this can change you and and change the the way that you're gonna that you're gonna have for for the next five years I have a lot of friends that are gonna. They know they're gonna move to Oslo, study for five years, get a really good job, and and I'm not, I'm not saying anything negative about that. People have great jobs and they do great, but for me it was always like about doing something different. And if you look more into that, so many options from yeah, people want to go to California or Miami in Florida or or Manhattan in New York, but America is so much more than that. And you get you're gonna get a school at the end that's gonna suit you well and. And just go for it, and don't be afraid. Don't look back, and and take advantage of the time that you get. Yeah. Find another Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah. To start off. <laughs> to start the, off uh, with yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's worth that. Great. I do. I do recommend the, that school if people want to look into that. Yeah. yeah that it was. Is, it was great. That's great. And it's something about that. Norway is always there. Your friends are always there. Your parents are always here, and the family is always here. But like taking that leap when you're like after high school when you sort of don't really know what you want to do in life and taking that leap to take an education to experience the world because that's what you do you know california is a state in the u.s but it's in the same size as sweden yeah so just experience and travel around the u.s and you get to travel to either to canada or to mexico or to the caribbean like there's so many opportunities there that you won't get by staying you know, home. Hundred percent. So taking that leap when you're 19 until you're 25, it's it's massive because yeah. you still have time after. You're still young. You're still yeah. young when you're, you're done. You're young still. still. Yeah. I, I feel like you're, I'm going to start my life now, yeah. and I'm 26, yeah. you know, and, and a half. So I'm like, I'm on my way to like. Yeah. You still count the half? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah that yeah. means you're still young. I was thinking you're that. Is it the half? Yeah. Yeah. I'm 26 and a half years yeah. old. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's really like. Like you said, you, there's so many other uh, opportunities over there, and and like you said, you can travel, but also like the America is a is a whole continent basically. Yeah. Every state is a different country at at so in so many ways, and yeah. and uh, we went to Mexico. My friends, uh, my friend was from Mexico. He was on a golf team. That's another thing about getting into a sports team. You get to know people from the tennis team, from the basketball team, from the golf team, and they're from all over the world as well. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? You you just don't get to yeah, you have that um, 
community in the locker room back home in Norway, but this is a whole school with athletes and, and students that uh, it's a part of one thing, and that's to, to represent the university in the best way possible. Every Everyone is, is in it. Like we had a t- thing in the team says, you know, Lions all day. That, that was the Mars Hill University thing that we said before the games and everything, and that was for every single team at the university. It's really, really special. Is that connection to your campus, the yeah. pride of uh, representing the school? 100%. And, you know, in Marshall, that's in, in that area, a lot of people in the community probably went to Marshall. Yeah. They, of course, supported that instead of having your... Wearing the hat, that is the, wearing the T-shirt, yeah, old the people. of course. Yeah, people, I see an American thing is to go to church with a family on Sundays and go and eat after, and people sit in, like, Marshall jerseys or, like, Clemson jerseys or any other like bigger schools yeah. uh, with the whole family. That's just the American culture, the way they do stuff. And that's just very unique for us Norwegian people to look back and like, like you don't see fr- yeah. people go around with BI Norwegian business school jerseys because <laughs> no. it's not a thing. No. It's a whole no. different no, world. It's, it's very different. <laughs> I, I remember not so much in Boston because it's just a big city, uh, but in New Hampshire, up in Plymouth, I remember a week after the first game or something like that, I was walking sort of like in the main street area of Plymouth. And, you know, there's people there that lives in Plymouth all year around. And they just walked up to me and said, great game on Sunday trolls yeah. and stuff like that. And like, oh, I, I didn't know that you watched me playing or like, I didn't know that you knew that. Right. But like the community cares so much about, you know, their college team because it's so much bigger than... I ever thought or any Norwegian thought because it's 100%. it's a massive thing and like in small areas or rural areas where they maybe just have the college team that has you know baseball football soccer hockey whatever it's sort of their team to support so when you walk I remember walking around in Main Street and people saying oh yeah great game trolls and stuff yeah. like that and like I never met them before but I was like all right thank yeah. you that's yeah. cool yeah, yeah. You, you, uh... That's nice. Nice it's, feeling. It's a nice feeling. They're yeah. good at that. Yeah. Uh, making you feel good over there. Yeah. They, and they're all about that too. Yeah. We had a we had a practice game, a scrimmage game, as it's called over there, at the beginning of or like end of preseason, and we won like six to one or something like that. And I scored a hat trick in the first half, and the day on the Monday after it was like, whoa, three goals in the first half, and I was like, I haven't. I've never seen you before. Like they were just like all about that, you know, because the whole campus comes to watch the games yeah. and they're all about every sport. And that's a whole part of that college community. So that's just totally different from, from being home and, yes. and to be able to, you know, if you're in Norway, you, you work, you go to school, you play for the club team. It's a lot of time during those 24 hours that you're going to get in there. And it's not, it takes a lot to be able to do that five times a week. Yeah. It's easier to be in one place where you, you eat, sleep, Study and play. Yeah, one place. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, that's the beauty about it as well, because you know, I remember having, you know, like you said, all professors and all that. They always knew who I was before I even got into their class, because yeah. they they you know follow their team or follow their school. So I remember always having like professors saying, "Oh yeah, that's Trolls here in Norwegian. You play at the soccer team." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, me. Nice yeah, that's me. You. Nice to meet yeah. you. How are you doing?" <laughs> But good. I think uh, Stian, it's been great having you here. Uh, Thank you for having to, me to listen to your journey and having been part of it. Yeah, uh, and to see you from again. the beginning, all the way from, from the, the beginning. beginning yeah, <laughs> uh, and that's uh, that's what's special for us to to work with uh, with young and hopeful up and coming student athletes. Yeah, right. It's fun to see their how they how they end up doing. I mean, a lot has happened since we first spoke. Yeah. Uh, you know, from 2013, 14, to yeah. now 2020. Hundred percent. Right? It's uh, seen your development. And, yeah. Uh, we've stayed in touch and we've gotten to know each other very well. So it's uh, now you're back home. Yeah. The, the journey is like full circle. Yeah. Uh, but now it's a new chapter. It's right? a new like chapter. Said, yeah. Where you're gonna start full time uh, job and uh, and learn that craft even better. Yeah. Marketing and, and business management. So. Yeah. Uh, but great to have you, Stian, and uh, we look forward to the next uh, next chapter of this uh, <laughs> yeah, pursue uh, pod uh, with more exciting guests. Yep, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.